parts today. Uh, I got the air blade from Impressive Tuning. It just got in uh, yesterday. And now it's the weekend, so we're gonna have some fun. These things are, uh, are fender shrouds, I guess you would say. It's not bad for anyone who doesn't want to touch them. They're just they're flimsy. Look at this, look at this. You know. So I guess uh, we'll actually get some unboxing here. <laughs> the way this thing is wrapped up. Looks like it was actually wrapped up pretty well. Looks like they got some damage from shipping, but thanks to Compressive Tunes boxing, you can see, uh, one second, you can see that it did no damage to the product, so it's all good. Um, things happen in shipping, it's not Compressive Tunes' fault. This thing right off the bat looks amazing. I actually like the anodized red, but I think actually it's a wrinkle red. I'm wrong, okay? I'm not, I'm not a professional. But let's see. Yeah, it's wrinkle red actually, so that was right. It's very, very lightweight, very sturdy. Uh, these are actually supposed to be, um, according to their, to their specs, this is actually supposed to extract the heat as well. So uh, I'm actually curious to see how the engine temperatures are and uh, how you know this is going to help in the heat during the summer. So we'll see how that goes. So it's going to go right there. Of course, I opened the wrong one, but you get a nice little representation. Okay. Uh, as far as what comes with the package, it looks like it's actually a nice, well cleared color document, which a lot of people don't do. So that just tells you right off the bat that the compressive tuning that they're actually really really dedicated to you know some good customer service they even give you a little uh, QR code to uh, watch an install video if you need it so that's cool I like that um, I will say that I am a huge fan of stickers right so I don't see that this came with any kind of uh, like stickers now a lot of people don't care about stickers but I do because when you pop the hood right you get to see all the product that you represent, you know, Grimsby, Ames Oil, whoever, whoever. That's a big thing for me. Um, I also, my car is, on the outside, basic. It doesn't look like anything besides, you know, the headlights are aftermarket, but you have to look closely the fact that it's aftermarket. We'll get further into that in my videos later. But, uh, it's not a negative, it's just first world problems for me, as you would say. So. Down. This is the one we actually need. Now this one I noticed is actually wrapped compared to the other one. So you know maybe uh, this one just sits in a different spot so they don't want the rubbing going on. So all good. So I'm gonna get this. Looks like it's gonna slip in there. Now since this isn't, it looks like it's not as you know. It's, well, it does look, but it's not as flexible as the. You know, flimsy little piece of whatever super put on there. So you just gotta be a little careful when installing it. Last thing you wanna do is scratch. And I think that's why they put those install instructions. I probably said that you have to put it in a certain way so you don't scratch their product. So we're gonna figure it out. Get in there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Do it the right way. Um, you know, I can easily go look at the instructions, but I'm hard headed, which you guys will learn that I'll keep doing something so either A, I figure it out, or B, I scratch the shit out of my car, excuse my language. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. I think I might have to buy the bullet and actually look at the instructions. Alright. This last thing I want to do is end up breaking this thing. The I would have never figured that out. <laughs> I would have totally... <laughs> Alright, whatever. 
this is why compressive, good job. Because clearly people like me uh, would have never figured that out. I'm pretty sure anyone else would have figured that out, but uh, I'm glad I looked at the instructions because that thing looks amazing and it went in so much easier. So anyone who's installing this, make sure you follow those instructions or look at my YouTube. You know, and it'll make your life easier. Uh, so yeah, uh, this thing sits in here already very, very nice. I like the way it's sitting. Uh, all the holes line up pretty, actually pretty freaking good, man. Um, nice, solid way it looks. So we'll get the pin push pins in there. I think I'm actually missing one of my other push pins. I noticed I only took off one. So uh, yeah, that's my fault. One thing that I do notice is that if you're running a black one, no big deal. It's gonna look nice. Uh, the fact that it's red with black, I'm gonna see how that looks later, but uh, maybe we can find some kind of way of getting some anodized red ones, make it look really nice. So we'll just push it in there. Bam! But again, looking at it from afar, what do you guys think? I think it actually makes the engine pop. Uh, I'm really excited to see if, uh, how functional these uh, are. Uh, and if they're not that functional, they're not. But I'm pretty damn sure they wouldn't go to a lot of trouble with the way they've, uh, you know, made their um, the products the way it is. So. Uh, as far as price, price is not bad, you know, anyone uh, that's anyone a car person knows that, um, look at the difference here, anyone that, anybody who is a car person knows that you pay for good quality parts, right? Uh, there are limits of how much you should really pay for something, but this wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and get the other one install here, or we'll rotate you guys around. How fast I can actually do it, now that I actually know how to do the, or follow the instructions properly, so. Uh, again, there's your push clips, and again, I don't think I have one. So, got this from Amazon, and it comes with uh, a whole mess of, mess of different different clips, right? 240 pieces. So again, I'm not sponsored by them or trying to solicit them. I'm just saying for people who, you know, go through clips like myself or lose them like myself, I'm pretty sure this will have what I'm looking for. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, and I just go get the right one. Uh, I don't believe in paying you know, overly priced for some of these. It little, actually doesn't look like I have it in here, which is sad. All right, so those are off. This thing came, okay, there we go. Nice comparison again. They did actually a really good job with filling in. A lot of times aftermarket uh, products tend to just be so universal, but you can tell that they took the time to make it actually work with everything that's gonna go between and function with like the hood struts, so it's good. All right, so let's see, did I do it upside down? No, I did it like down. And like this, hey, look at that. That was so much easier the, the first, second time around. Super, super simple. But now, all right, I was in there now, I'm not. There we go, all right, put that back. So, it looks like if you have the Cobb um, cold air box, it will scrape just a, just a tidge, but it's not gonna be a deal breaker. Uh, luckily, Cobb, you can adjust this over, so I'm gonna adjust this over later. Um, that's okay. Uh, looks like also Compressive made these uh, cover, their little emblem, which is super nice. It's a nice, it's a nice touch uh, on it, because if you look real closely, on these, they're serialized. I'll bring you guys closer in a minute to show you what I mean. Each one of these looks like they're serialized and this is number 327. So I don't know if that means this is like the 327th one they made in their product or, you know, quality control, I don't know. But it's still cool because it shows that they are making some nice touches. And it's a really good uh, emblem on here. So maybe that's why they don't give you stickers because they're gonna show you, bam, there's your product. But again, it's just me, I, I'm not, telling you that this is, oh no, a deal breaker. I just like stickers because that's me. Anyways, so we're done. Uh, super simple, super quick. Um, I like the way the products are, which is why I'm happy that I got that radiator shroud. I'm sure once we get that installed um, on the radiator shroud, 
it will be just as much as cake. The biggest thing will, that's gonna suck is just, you know, doing the, uh, there we go, doing the uh, bumper removal because again, uh, one, doing it by yourself sucks. Two, uh, just a little bit of pain, but uh, as long as you have the patience, which I don't have, remember? All right, so let's get this sitting here. Nice and flush, bam, it hooks in there. And I, remember how I was saying how I thought the black was gonna be a little obscure to it, but it looks like it actually is not. It looks like it actually fits in really, really nice with the system. Uh, it's solid, you're not gonna hear any rattling. I just gotta put one on there, and again, you know. I think this has some kind of insulation. Doesn't look like water comes through here much or dirt. Size on the outside, so big difference, right? Ah, I like this. And oh, the serial numbers don't look like they're gonna be on both, just one, which is cool. But at the very end, get you guys in there, you can see the serialized, you know. See? That looks sick. I like it. Good job, impressive. Guys, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with uh, part two uh, of installing the radiator shroud, but this is just for uh, the fender shrouds, which is really nice, really cool. I'll show you a couple before and after things after this. And uh, uh, as always, thank you. This is a big thing for me to be able to film for you guys and do reviews, hopefully installs. I really wish I would have done every single install I've done on here, but I do want to do reviews on every product that I have from every company, just because that's something that people need to know about. Uh, so far, I'll tell you, right off the bat, uh, pushing 300 horsepower with this engine, Tune, Pro Tune from Yumi Sports. Go look at them, they're pretty cool. Um, and it's just a reliable 300 horsepower car. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not enough power and you should be pushing more, but I don't want that. I just want nice and clean and cool. So. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get talking about that later. But again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe. And if not, give me a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see. Uh, whether this was too long, it was too short, I talked too much, um, whatever, don't matter. I like it. You construct constructive criticism is always key and you gotta learn how to accept that from the world. Anyways, thank you for watching, peace. And as always, don't forget, keep dreaming no matter what. Chaos dreams. Lakes.